want to talk about Huntington B, um, and some of you I know know about this. Um, I, just but to remind those that maybe don't, Hunterston is on the North Ayrshire coast, the west of Glasgow. It's the site of two nuclear power stations. One, Hunterston A, uh, has been closed down for some years and has been decommissioned. The other, Hunterston B, uh, consists of two aging uh, cranked reactors, and a lot of people are campaigning for them to be permanently shut down. The two reactors at Hunterston B, that's called Reactor 3 and Reactor 4, started generating electricity in 1976. They're originally due to be closed in 2006, um, but the French state company that runs them, EDF, uh, wants to keep them both going until at least 2023. That's its current target. Um, but the company has run into unexpectedly severe problems with the cracking of the graphite bricks that make up the reactor core and whose integrity is vital for the safe running of the reactors. <coughs> So there are about 3,000 or so graphite bricks, they're pretty big things, um, uh, in each reactor core. And in the course of the, reactor, the reactor's life, they're bombarded by intense radiation, because it's very, very radioactive in the, in the core of the reactor. So they've been bombarded by radiation for four decades. This stresses them, makes them more vulnerable, more brittle, more vulnerable to cracking. This is a problem because the bricks provide the channels for which reactors are cooled and safely shut down. So if too many graphite bricks break and become misaligned, it could inhibit uh, cooling, uh, which is done by gas, um, <coughs> or prevent control rods from being inserted and shutting down a nuclear reaction. Um, in the worst circumstances, uh, some experts have warned it could lead to a major nuclear accident, similar to Chernobyl, um, releasing clouds of dangerous radioactivity over Glasgow and Edinburgh if the wind was blowing east. Um, so it's pretty important to avoid that. Um, so where are we? Reactor number three at Hunterston is the oldest of EDF's uh, fleet of advanced gas cooled reactors in the UK. Um, so you'd expect it to be the most cracked. It's run slightly longer than uh, reactor four at Hunterston. It was, reactor three was closed on the 9th of March 2018. And despite repeated target dates to reopen it being missed, it now looks likely to stay shut uh, for at least the rest of 2019. EDF's current target restart date for Reactor 3 is the 15th of January 20, uh, whatever next year is, 2020. Um, uh, but every previous date they've given has been postponed. So uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's postponed too. <coughs> reactor 3, uh, EDF has inspected via cameras, a quarter of its core. Um, and it, based on that inspection, it estimates that there are 377 cracks in the graphite of, uh, around the reactor core. Now, the operational limit that was set uh, by the Office for Nuclear Regulation, the independent nuclear regulator, that uh, unlike the DNSR, that regulates the civil nuclear industry, um, their operational safety limit for the number of cracks was 350. So Reactor 3 exceeded that by having 377, so that's a problem. Um, EDF, however, has been a company has been strongly urging the regulator, ONR, to relax the operational safety limit to allow more than 350 cracks. The ONR succumbed to this argument uh, uh, in August, um, saying that the number of acceptable cracks, uh, according to their estimate, was being doubled from 350 to 700. EDF are very pleased about. Whether or not, however, Reactor 3 is going to be uh, restarted remains unknown because there's still a big behind the scenes argument going on between EDF and ONR about when, whether, and in what circumstances and for how long uh, Hunterson Reactor 3 will be allowed to restart. Uh, I wouldn't hold your breath for the outcome, um, but the outcome is at this stage to me, anyway, unknown. Um, that's all about Reactor 3, the oldest one. So also in August, the ONR gave EDF permission to restart, restart the other reactor, Hudson Reactor 4, but only for four months uh, to see how, how its cracks proliferate. Based on an inspection of just 10% of the core, EDF estimates there are 209 cracks in Reactor 4. 
So it's significantly less than in Reactor 3, but still quite a lot. Um, reactor 4 was shut down uh, on the 2nd of October 2018. It reopened again in August uh, and should be shut down again in December if they stick to their four months. Uh, ONR, the regulator, stressed that after four months, EDF would have to again prove that it was safe to carry on running the reactor. And in their words, the longer term condition of the reactor remains uncertain. So that, as I understand it, is currently where we are with Hunterston. I just want to make one other point in conclusion. So, and this is obvious if you think about it, the heart of the argument between the regulator ONR and the French company EDF is money. Um, it's not just that the company, you know, the longer the company can keep the two Hudson reactors running, the longer it can keep making money out of them, keep profiting from them. It's also that what EDF is allowed to do at Hunterston will set a precedent uh, for the six other uh, five, sorry, five other similar nuclear power stations across the country, including Torness um, in uh, East Lothian uh, and power stations uh, across and around England. Um, so EDF, which is hard pressed with problems in France, financial problems because of difficulties having these nuclear power stations there, uh, and also with its delayed and increasingly expensive plans for a new nuclear station at Hinkley Point in Somerset. Uh, it's vital for their financial interest to keep the Hudson reactors running for as long as it can, for long the income they get from selling electricity, and because whatever happens at Hudson, however long they're allowed to run them, how many cracks they're allowed, is likely to apply to all the other uh, 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 five reactors across the UK, um, five nuclear power stations across the UK. <coughs> On the other side, you know, EDF wants to make money. The Office for Nuclear Regulation, a UK government agency, has the job of protecting public safety. So I have no doubt that it and its public and its political masters respond to public opinion on that. So it's important that the public convey its opinion um, on that matter. That's all I want to say. Happy to answer questions, discuss whatever you want.